Welcome to IMAP Invasives. This is a series of tutorial videos to assist you in making sure you have an easy time setting up your IMAP Invasives account and collecting data. This is video three, setting preferences in the IMAP Invasives mobile app. These preferences need to be established before recording any observations. Please complete these steps while you're connected to the internet or have good connectivity. Firstly, make sure you have the IMAP Invasives app downloaded. If you are opening the app for the first time, you will be brought to this screen and prompted to set your preferences automatically. While using this app for the first time, you may get a pop-up asking you to allow the IMAP app to use your location. Be sure to select Allow while using app. This will enable you to record observations of invasive species that include the geographic locations. If you have opened the app before, you should see this help screen. Touch the screen and it will go away. With the help screen gone, you will have to click the menu icon in the top left and select Preferences. This is what you should see when you first click on Preferences. You will be asked to select your jurisdiction species list, as well as to enter your username, which is the same as your email, and password. This must match the information you use to set up your IMAP Invasives account. Once you've entered your information, please click Retrieve IMAP Lists to connect your app to your IMAP account. If you're successful in entering your data, you should see this confirmation message. At this point, everything else is optional. It would benefit you to look them over now, but you were still able to access them later. Click OK to proceed. If you receive an error message, please carefully retype your information and try again. You can also try logging in on our website, nyimapinvasives.org, to make sure you're using the correct information for your username and password. If the problem persists, please contact imapinvasives at dec.ny.gov. If you do not have an account or forgot your password, please click the link that says create account or reset password. You are able to choose between scientific and or common names for the species. You can also choose which species you expect to report with the customized species list button. For now, please select fake species for testing and feel free to select any species you are already familiar with. You can edit your custom species list at any time and you can always access the full list while recording observations. You will also see options to adjust picture quality, zoom level, etc. The default options are fine and it is up to you whether or not you want to change anything. Next, you will see the option to select any projects or organizations. This ensures that any observations made will default to what you select. If you joined any projects or organizations within your IMAP account, you can set defaults here. Most IMAP Invasives users are volunteers and may not have an organization affiliated with their IMAP account. If this is the case for you, you can skip these steps. You are also able to enter these manually later on. When everything is filled in, remember to click Save Changes to ensure your information is saved to the app. The app will then bring you to the screen and you will be all ready to start recording observations out in the field.